Did you know that viruses can be found in and transmitted by the tears in your eyes? And if you find yourself in a situation where a zombie is chomping down at you and you get some zombie spit in your eye, there's a chance that you could turn into a zombie even without being bitten. So my first tip, if you find yourself in a zombie apocalypse, is to wear safety glasses or sunglasses or any kind of eye protection. I'm not seeing this in any of the movies or the videos. And so, keep watching this video. This video is going to be your ultimate guide to keeping your eyes healthy during the zombie apocalypse. Let's focus in. Now, what if you get something in your eye? You're chopping wood, you're running, you get something flung in your eye. What do you do? Well, back to my first tip, wear safety glasses. But let me show you a few things that I put in my bag just in case if you have to flush your eye or get something out of your eye. So a nice thing to have in there is some eye wash so you can actually rinse out your eye or use it to flush out your eye. And so that's number one, nice to carry on an eye wash. This right here is an eye flusher cup. You can actually get this right off of Amazon. I'll have the link in the description. Um, but you actually put the solution in there and you can either tip your head back and blink, kind of try and flush it out, blink it out, or this has a little squirter. You can actually put the, the solution in there, tip your head down and actually push on it and it will squirt the solution in your eye. So you can kind of try and flush or force whatever is in your eye out. Gloves, if you're gonna be picking at your eye a lot, you don't wanna be getting your dirty hands in your eye. And this one is a makeup mirror. Yeah, a makeup mirror. It actually has an LED light on there, but one of the mirrors has a magnification to it, so you can actually see really close to your eye, see small details, see if you can actually see what's in your eye. And like I said, it has a little light to it, so you can actually see in the dark if you needed to. Now, another thing that might happen, you'll be running outside, your eyes might get dry, irritated, they could get red, and they could get really, really red, to the point people might mistake you for a zombie. We don't want that to happen. So these are what I carry around in my bag to keep my eyes nice and white. First one, just like my first tip, get some sunglasses. Ones that can actually protect your eyes from the wind and something getting in your eyes. It can protect UV light and that will help your eyes from getting red. And a hat can also help with that sunlight irritation and squinting, so definitely get a hat. Preservative free artificial tears for dry eyes. This one might be a little bit different, but I actually carry around eyelid wipes. A lot of times you'll get a bunch of debris on your eyelashes. It can cause blepharitis and that can cause your eyes to get really red and gunky, gross looking, inflamed. And so I carry around eyelid wipes. Next thing, if your eyes are red and you're about to meet somebody and you don't want them thinking that you're a zombie, I carry around Lumify. This is the best get the red out eye drop. Works really fast, works really well, makes your eyes nice and white and so they won't get confused and think you're a zombie. Wow. Okay, my next set of tips is to keep your vision clear. You wanna be able to spot those zombies a mile away. If you wear glasses, you have to take care of these things. You want a cleaner, a case, a microfiber cloth. You wanna make sure that you're keeping the lenses clear so you can spot those zombies. I definitely recommend having backup glasses, prescription sunglasses. Now what happens if you break or lose your glasses and you can't see two feet in front of your face? Well, first thing, I definitely recommend carrying around a prescription of your glasses. Who knows when you'll run into an optical that you can borrow some glasses from. If you are desperate and to get you out of a bind, you can use pinhole glasses or use the pinhole effect. Pinhole glasses take advantage of the pinhole effect by extending your range of focus. So even when you don't wear glasses or contact lenses, you can wear pinhole glasses and actually see quite a bit better. In fact, you don't need pinhole glasses. You can take a piece of paper, punch a hole and use that, look through a pinhole, and you'll actually see better without your glasses. And I go over exactly how that works in this video here. I'll put it in the description so you can check that out. Now, if you're someone that wears reading glasses to see up close, you'll kind of want to know what your power is. And I'll give a general rule based off your age, what power might work best for you. Again, general rule, but that'll be in the description below. Okay, now what about seeing in the dark? You gotta be able to see in the dark so you can see if a zombie's lurking in the bushes. So here's some tips for that. My biggest tip is if you have to use a flashlight, get one that has a red light on it. With the red light, you can still look at your map, see where you're going, and your eyes will still stay dark adapted so you can see better in the dark. This is the same principle people use when they're stargazing. They'll look at a map and still look up and still be able to see the stars because their eyes are dark adapted. 
and red light definitely better than the normal light and it's also better than the green or the blue so you want to stick with the red you'll be able to see in the dark better and the other tip we can take from pirates wearing an eye patch the eye behind the eye patch will stay dark adapted so if you're walking around you feel like you need to see a little bit better into some bushes so you can lift the eye patch and that eye will see a little bit better in the dark Okay, so I know what you're saying. What if I am a contact lens wearer? Well, in a zombie apocalypse situation, I would definitely avoid wearing contacts at all costs. It can be definitely tricky to keep your hygiene up. Your hands might re be really dirty. You might be washing them in a stream. It'll be really tricky to keep your hands clean and the contacts clean. And on top of that, contacts do have an expiration date and you can see it right on your package. But I get it, if this is the only way you have to be able to see clearly and you're determined to wear contacts, then the biggest thing is to keep your hygiene up, making sure that your hands are clean, your contacts are clean, make sure that you have contact lens solution, a contact lens case, you have extra cases that you wanna replace every month. A lot of times the bacteria sits and collects in that case and that's sometimes where a lot of infections come from. So if you're determined, big thing is to keep the hygiene up. And also like the glasses, definitely keep a contact lens prescription with you just in case if you're able to find some more. Now I know what the temptation is gonna be. You're gonna say, hey, what if I just leave my contacts in? And I get it. You don't wanna be touching your eye with your dirty hand or having to deal with the cases and everything. Might just be better just to leave the contacts in, right? Well, by leaving your contacts in, especially for a long time, you put yourself at a higher risk of getting potential abrasions, irritation, redness, infections, corneal ulcers. All of these can actually make your eyes look like a zombie eye. And you do not want to be mistaken for a zombie by how your eyes look. That could turn out really bad. He's a zombie. Speaking of eye infections, yeah, what, what do you do if you have an eye infection and it's the apocalypse? What do you do? Well, hopefully you'll know an eye doctor during the zombie apocalypse. I hope I'm there so you can come see me. I'll help you out. But the good thing is depending on what you have, if you have an eye infection, it's a bacterial infection, if you have inflammation, if your pressures are really high and you need the eye drops to lower your eye pressure, the good news is that eye drops are actually color coordinated. The lids to the eye drops actually have specific colors to tell you what they do. So if you look at this diagram of different types of eye drops and what they do, you can try and memorize different eye drop names, medication names, but they're weird and they can be tricky. But if you have this diagram handy, you can know just by the color of the lid what that eye drop will do. So please, please, don't forget about your eyes during a zombie apocalypse. It could be the key to survival. Okay. Ooh, I gotta go. Hey, stay focused. Yeah.